Bemidji High School has joined a short list of schools recognized for the way they serve lunch. In the last decade, just over 200 schools nationwide have received the U.S. Department of Agriculture's highest marks for food quality. And as our Jackson Bruner tells us that on this week's Golden Apple, the Lumberjacks are quite proud of the honor. The cafeteria at Bemidji High School is once again packed. The lines are noticeably long. Thank you. It's once again lunchtime in lumberjack country. Sometimes I get a burger. Sometimes I go through the pasta line. Kind of just depends on the day and what I feel like eating. After grabbing a drink, the salad bar is next. Mostly fruit for me. This school has a system. We have a big demand. And it's caused the government to take notice. The gold award of distinction, part of the Healthier U.S. School Challenge, went to BHS this year. It's a wonderful compliment, and we are so proud of the school district as a whole because it's a wonderful effort for our team here. From soups and salads to fruits and vegetables, the school's main goal is to provide students with healthy options. Options. We offer some favorites as a pizza line that is maintaining a, a whole grain crust and just implement those standards into our burger line and into our soup and salad line, just offering choice. Uh, I usually get sometimes the pasta, there's usually get a lot of the pasta. Um, if there's like this Asian kind of rice stuff in this line, I really like that. I'm not as familiar as regular staff here, but I find it very good and satisfying and healthy. A farm to school program brings fresh produce to the food line. We provided them at all the schools and at every line at the high school as well as bringing a chef into the school that's helping us incorporate more grains. For the work they've done, Bemidji staff was honored by the USDA with a plaque. They're the second in Minnesota to receive this award right after Kellier School won it in 2015. For this week's Golden Apple, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.